Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is episode 15 of my $25 thrift challenge. If you're familiar with the series, you're probably wondering at this point, Chloe, why aren't you in the car? And why are you with Jason? Basically today, we're doing the $25 thrift challenge, husband picks my outfit edition. So he's gonna be taking the camera to Goodwill and filming and picking out stuff that he thinks that I would wear. Then he's gonna come back and we're gonna film the second half and try everything on for you guys. Basically, I'm putting a lot of trust into his hands. If you guys are new to my channel and this series, basically every week I usually go to Goodwill and I spend $25 to put together an outfit or just find some pieces that I really love and I started this whole series because I just wanted to prove that you don't need to spend a lot of money to build your wardrobe and find some really great pieces. So I'm trusting Jason that he'll find some awesome stuff. It could go well, it it's could not go, go well. well. I, I have a I'm lot of faith stylish. in him. He is stylish. Look how stylish he is. <laughs> so I'm going to be handing the camera over to him and you guys are going to go to Goodwill with Jason. <laughs> Family it's sandwich! Big, it's a big sandwich. Here we go. <laughs> Bye, good luck! You got this, babe. All right, everybody. Jay was here doing the Buy Chloe Win $25 thrift challenge. Just had a weird look from the person in the car next to me. She probably gets this all the time now. It's sort of a weird vibe. I'm not even looking at the It's sort of a weird vibe walking into a place with a camera, but... It is what it is. All right, I'm gonna try to get out of here. Strong double chin too. There's a technique to this, I think. Holding it high enough where you don't look like a freak. Chloe, here to greet us. So proud of her. Busy vibe today. I'm gonna just start in the bags because I know that she likes bags, so let's head on back there. All right, so today the yellow tags. Is this like zoomed in? Yeah, it totally is. So the yellow tags are 50% off. The blue tags are 99 cents. That's a hideous bag. They're all not that great today. This is a trendy Chanel knockoff, I think. It's not a tag on it, but it's got the weird beads in it. All right, so we're gonna pass on the bags. Let's see what's going on in the shoes over here. This one's got a weird stain on it. Grace. Mickey Mouse, honey, that's your vibe. I don't know what I'm looking for. She always goes through like literally every piece. It takes like 5,000 hours. I hope to not take that long. Typically, I know she doesn't like salmon, so we're gonna skip that whole section. All right, so this shirt's kind of weird. I'm gonna go with it though. It's kind of long, but I kind of think she might crop it or something. And it's a blue tag, so it's 99 cents. I guess these are smalls. Ooh, a flower. Crazy for you. Okay, so I know she usually likes stuff that's like textured like that. I think that's kind of a weird vibe, but nope. Yeah, I've been saying for years that turtlenecks are coming back, and I think they finally are back now. All right, I'm not gonna lie right now, I'm just very lost. I don't really know where the t-shirts are. I'm trying to find them, and I just can't. All I see are blouses just everywhere. Just kind of weird, just lots of blouses. So I'm gonna keep on looking here, but I don't really know how she does this. I see some t-shirts here, but they're all big. I just need something smaller, so I don't know. Now the capris. I might try to see what kind of skirts and stuff are here. I don't think she's a medium. Let's see, I doubt they have skirts. I always give Chloe a hard time because she'll like wear these denim skirts or if she used to, that I just think look like tube socks. These are kind of cool. They're capris, so I think she could cut them with high-waisted crop top thingy. I don't know if these are high-waisted pants. No idea what size jeans she is, but these are all smalls. But jeans are sort of a tough one. The way people look at you when you're filming in, in a store, especially when you're a big dude going through the dresses, it's entertaining, to say the least. That one's not too bad with the seafoam there, I don't know. I think probably like two years ago me would have been like, ooh, that Aztec dress, get that girl. Right, I'm 
I'm not gonna lie. I just felt really awkward in there filming. I don't know how she does this, but it makes me feel very strange. Regardless, we got our stuff. I'm excited. It was $24.94, so I just rounded up to $25 and then hit it right on the dot. So, and I got some cool pieces. I'm particularly excited about the core jacket. I think that's something she would never buy, but she might end up sort of liking because it's a unique texture. All right, y'all, we're back in the spot. I put no clothes on. I just got back and it was a weird experience. <laughs> this girl is very good at her job. And anyone who thinks that Vloggers don't work hard. They at least have a lot of self-confidence because I felt terrible. It's I was awful. So, I was just so out of my comfort zone. I just felt weird. Filming in a public place by yourself is so hard. Filming in a public place with like somebody else is way easier. So like vlogging is always easier. Just talking to a camera while everyone's shopping around you is just like Riley. My dude. <laughs> you want to come up here too? Should we make this a family affair? Come on, Ray. Uh, right. We love you. Talk. You're their favorite part. Come on. There you go. Sit down. There. Okay, so the gang is all here. And now Jason's gonna go through everything and explain why he chose what he chose. Okay, so let's do this. I guess I wanna start with something kind of simple and then this one I think you might hate just because the colors are weird, but. That's a good way to start it. Yeah, but we'll, we'll start with. <laughs> Starts with this one you're gonna hate. We'll start with this tea. This okay. is like a. I thought you would cut it, but feel it. It's like a really thick, like... Oh, it's like a sweatshirt tee. Yeah, it's like a sweatshirt tee, but like... Is this a woman's shirt? I don't know, but it's got the colors... <laughs> <laughs> it was in the women's section. Okay. It's got like kind it's of terrible colors, coloring. but the, the block kind of... And then I figure okay. you like cut it like right there or something. It could something. be cute crop. This so is like a this cropped is the sweatshirt first tee. Top. Bad colors. This is my worst piece. We're starting Oh, okay, here. okay. This is the you worst can only piece. go up from here. You can only go up. I think... All right. <laughs> what? You don't like it? I don't know. It reminds me of a sports team. Yeah, that's what's kind of like you little guys. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a men's shirt. No, it was in the women's section. Sure? I didn't go to the men's section. Okay. It is soft though. It is. It feels I good. That's really why I got it because it feels good. The like, material is really good. And I actually think it would look really boxy, which is what I like. With yeah, the it's cool. I think I nailed it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, so this is that first top, and I like the shape of it. The color is still a little weird to me. I just feel like I look kind of like a bumblebee. <laughs> like a Green Bay Packers fan or something like that. But uh, other than that, I think you got the concept right, and I already cut it. So, I don't know, maybe I'll wear this. All right, and then I also, I went kind of basic. Right. With the tees, but there's another one. You can just crop this junk and, and play it safe. There's just the blue tags were 99 cents. Yeah. Gotta grab those tees. Yeah, I gotta get those tees. Okay, on cute. I actually do yeah. not have a pink. I thought that shirt. one was like not too red, not too pink, but like also not really salmon, so it's kind of a good color. Yeah. That was like my safe option, and these pieces I'm excited about. All right, so this tee is not as bad as the other one. I like the color of this one better, but I actually like the fit of that green and yellow one. I just wish that green and yellow one was a different color because I like the material and the fit of that one, but this is cute. First, I don't know how big you are, so these ones are <laughs> got you a pair of black jeans and they've got that stripe that those blue jeans you have have, so I think Whoa. they're kind of cool, right? I'm yeah. sorry if they fit, but they're high-waisted. They look like they're this, the right size. I know they're high-waisted because I looked, kind of, right? Is that high-waisted? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then the stripe, I was like, that's it's kind of a cool pair of jeans. Right. I think these would fit. Those are definitely going to fit. Yeah, so Babe. I think those are cool. Those are cool. I'm swagging out. They have like a little striped on the I side. I just like jeans with like a little, at least on you, I think like a little pizzazz or sparkle. A little sparkle. A little, a little sparkle. A little sometimes. sparkle. Cute. Yeah. Okay. Actually, those are awesome. Those aren't too bad. Those are a great find. These are the old navy jeans, but that's exactly what I'm wearing. It's the same brand. Twerk. All right. So the jeans fit, which I am honestly very impressed with because i pick up jeans all the time and i take them to the dressing room and they don't fit so the fact that he was confident enough and thinking that these would fit me and i didn't get to try them on before he bought them very impressive but i actually really like these i love the fact that he went with the like stripe down the side they're a little bit long so i'll probably cut them like i do all my jeans anyway they're high-waisted they fit perfectly they're not too tight they're not too big and honestly just really impressed by the fact that they fit the Here, rock star here's jeans. where we start to get a little experience. <laughs> so, okay. This could be super hip or just like really old lady. I don't know. 
I love old lady though. Okay. It is Banana Republic, so. For the businesswoman? I, yeah, this one I thought. Okay. Just like, it, to me I saw it and I was like, it's not too flowery, it kind of feels like summer. It does feel like summer. A little bit, it's like really light. It is really light. I like it. Kind of ugly, but could work <laughs> for something. <laughs> really selling it. I know. It's really not that bad. Okay, this would be really cute tied. Okay, so this top is definitely something that I would pick up myself. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the print, but maybe it would look better with a skirt or like some blue jeans. But other than that, I think he definitely got the button down part right and the fact that you could tie it. It definitely fits, which I'm impressed by. Other than that, it's just a nice little thin summer top. Okay, these next two in particular. I cannot hype these up enough. This is great. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so these ones probably aren't gonna fit you, but it's a pair of shorts. Check them out. Ooh, are those linen? I don't know, but they're not <laughs> dressy, they're not sporty, they're just kind of cool. They've got a good texture, they're pretty small. Tracy Evans, I don't even know what that is. I don't know, but I saw them and I was like, those are kind of cute. Okay, they're not, they're yeah. not like too short. But I like, feel like those could be really versatile. So first of all, I'm very impressed that these actually fit. I think they're pretty cute. I probably would not wear them with this top because this top is not a great top to wear with most of the things that he got me. But other than that, I think they are like a solid pair of shorts. They are high-waisted, which is really nice. I like that. Okay, this is what I'm stoked about. This is the last thing? This is the last thing. Okay. I got you a cord jacket. Oh my gosh. That's, it's dope! That's that's, it's dope! That's so businesswoman y. No, it's dope. Okay. It's like a denim jacket, but it's cord. And cord's so not in that, like, in a year, cord's like the stuff. He's dude. calling it. I, He's calling the trends. I'm telling you, who who do you know who wears a cord jacket? Nobody. Nobody. Except, except for me. I've got one in this color. <laughs> so now we can match. We can match. Yeah, let's just rock out in our cord jacket. Dude, this is cool. Okay. That's okay. a cool piece. All right. That's the piece that like, I know you would never get, but that's gonna be swaggier than you think it is. Swaggier. Yeah. All right. I'm into that vibe. Okay, we'll try it on. So this is the corduroy jacket, as Jason stated was his favorite piece. And it's not bad. It actually does fit better than I thought it would. When he picked it out, I thought it was gonna be really tight and kind of, I don't know, I just thought it would look a lot different, but it's actually not that bad. Like, I feel, I feel like I could wear this in the fall. We can definitely match. All right, so that's everything for this week's $25 thrift challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave us a comment down below if you think Jason did a good job. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you guys back for some more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>